Hi, my name is Sheila Hill and I'm an intuitive life coach and a spiritual guide. Bringing you this video today to help you, guide you and encourage you to go within and figure out your own truth. So I will start today's video talking a little bit about the multi-dimensional layers to this COVID pandemic that we are currently experiencing. While on a very third dimensional level, everything is true and it's really happening and as living in this dimension, we really understand what that means. Um, but there are multiple layers to this. So are there people dying of the virus? Yes, there are. Are there people dying from other causes and their numbers are being included in the COVID numbers? I highly suspect so, although that doesn't need to be your truth. Are there souls that from a soul perspective based on the design that they created before coming in, were never going to ascend into the higher dimensional planes or into new earth or ascend into 5D and this virus is providing their soul with a tap out opportunity? Yes. So as you can see, as profoundly sad loss can be from a human perspective, and I'm not trying to bypass that piece, it also has multi layers to its purpose and what it's providing to the immediate family, to the collective, and in respect and following of the divine plan that the soul came in with in the first place. So begin to try and see this whole thing as a multi-layered, a multi-dimensional event. Um, while there are many people that are very ingrained and anchored into the pandemic itself, there are others of us that are able to hold space for the great awakening that's happening right now. And that many people are being triggered into looking at who they are, looking at their relationships, looking at how they show up, being encouraged and almost forced in some levels to engage with their families. Um, there are so many ups and downs and in-betweens to the reality of this that kind of lands out in the periphery of the virus itself and the pandemic itself. So I encourage you to find your own truth in beginning to understand a more expanded version of what is really happening. The next piece that I would be remiss to not talk about is that there are a number of conspiracy theories um, that are floating around in the truth movement, disclosure movement right now. So here's how I'd like to address this. I personally believe that within many, if not all, conspiracy theories, there is some thread of truth. We are ascending from a third dimensional matrixed reality into the fifth dimension for a reason. I am not going to get into the ins and outs and what ifs and how and when this happened and who's to blame. That's not what my platform is about. But I am aware that everything from the COVID virus and how it started and what agenda was behind it to 5G to child and sex and human trafficking, all of those types of topics are all being covered in the truth and disclosure movement right now. Again, it falls under the title of conspiracy theory. However, I do encourage you to do your research and figure out deep within yourself what you believe your truth to be on any or all of these topics. In order to ascend into the fifth dimension, we need to be fully integrated. And what that means is, is that we are able in any given point in time to be able to see the full spectrum from third dimensional to fifth dimensional or from third dimensional to high fourth, what is actually being presented, fully integrate it and zero point or bring that topic event or experience into complete neutrality. So what does that mean in more layman's terms? When we first awaken, and those of you that are watching this video have done that, we purge 
our past. We purge and cleanse and clear and release and heal all of our density. And it's an ongoing event. I'm not even saying that I'm fully there yet myself, so don't judge where you are. But it's a part of the process. The collective is also going through that process as well. Another layer, another multidimensional piece to this COVID pandemic is that it is creating a rumbling to the surface of some of the collective densities, distortions, and places where things have been out of integrity or out of divine truth to come to the surface so that it can be healed, cleansed, and released. It is not pretty, nor was it pretty when we were individually going through the depths of our dark nights of the soul on an individual level. Now, much like what we would have felt inclined to do, and I know that I was somewhat guilty of it myself during various parts of my healing journey, is that once you awaken to the love and light concept, truth, you would be perhaps triggered by someone. And then you would just go, well, you know what, I'm going to just send them love and light. And you sort of spiritually bypass out of the realm that you're meant to be doing your work in and bypass into spirituality. Some people on their journey went there and didn't come back. <laughs> so they will, but they haven't yet. So I bring that sort of concept to your attention that much like we realized that we weren't going to be moving forward in our ascension process or our healing journey or our personal evolution journey by constantly bypassing into spirituality, the same thing's happening on a collective level. There are truths, variations of the truth, conspiracy theories, densities, darkness, that is coming to the surface on a collective level from both what we mean as a collective, as a, as a unit, and also individually from the collective that's all coming to the surface. So what I'm saying that we need to integrate and zero point it means is that now is also another one of those times that albeit you have done your own personal work, that we don't go, la la la, this isn't happening, I don't need to know, I don't need to acknowledge, I don't want to hear about what's really going on because we need to integrate it and zero point it in order to ascend fully into 5D. So that's another piece of it. And I just encourage you to begin to explore what does that mean? We are ascending out of what I call a spoon fed matrix. Whatever language you wanna put on it, I'm probably not getting it right for every single person. <laughs> um, but we are ascending and waking up from a reality where we are told. We are told who we are, we are told what to do, we are told what to know, we are told how to eat, we are told what to drink, we are told, we're told. We're told by our parents, we're told by our teachers, we are told by uh, mainstream media, we are told by societal norms. We are told, spoon-fed, how to manage ourselves in this reality. And so when we wake up out of that reality, we come out of that box. And we go, wow, there's something outside of the box that I can learn and explore in what it means to be a sovereign being of light, having a human experience. We move from that box, many of us, into spirituality, where spirituality has its own version of spoon feeding, <laughs> which can everything can be anything and everything and probably things that I, I'm not gonna mention about what crystal you need to do in order to be this and what you have to do with your cards in order to get a proper reading for yourself and that you must hug on the left so that your heart is with the other person's heart and so on and so forth. There is a lot of dogma, um, belief systems and rules around how to be spiritual and how to get it right. We are now moving and have for some time now, as the fifth dimensional reality energies have been available to us to tap into anytime we wish, are now being encouraged 
for us to understand and operate from a space where there are no rules. Now, I don't mean anarchy because 5D has integrity, unity, consciousness, um, unconditional love as sort of the, the foundational pillars. But what I'm talking about is that you get to decide. As a sovereign being, you are about to step into more freedom than you probably know what to do with. Where you get to decide as a sovereign being what your reality is and what certain things mean and don't mean and apply and don't apply within your sovereign beingness, within your experience. In the beginning, yes, this can be a little bit daunting, but I encourage you to begin to explore what things mean to you, what truths you want to hold, and then what that means for your reality if that were truth. Because as a micro universe operating within a macro universe, your sovereignty is rule in your experience. So that being the case for each and every person, for myself, for each and every one of you, it is not anyone's job to awaken anyone else. There's been a new phrase coined in the last couple of months since this pandemic started called red pilling. And it makes reference to the movie, The Matrix. And what it looks, what it's referencing is those that have awakened to a version of the truth that they personally hold as being the truth are then force feeding the red pill down other people's proverbial throats. Trying to, uh, trying to force awakenings upon other people. You need to believe what I believe. You need to open your eyes. You need to wake up, wake up, wake up. And while I understand that the place and the intention that these certain individuals, um, you may know some, I don't know, um, are operating from ultimately is a place of care and concern. In actuality, forcing someone else to wake up is out of integrity with our contract with one another that we are each and individually sovereign. It interferes with other people's free will. And in some cases can invoke trauma and fear in the other individual that to a certain extent can be considered abuse. So as you begin to unfold and unravel this big ball of yarn that is our reality right now, on a collective level and on an individual level, I encourage you to do your research. I encourage you to no longer be a spoon-fed societal member and begin to understand what you think is going on with the pandemic and with the other conspiracy truths and theories that might be floating around that you might be seeing in your social media feeds etc cetera, etc cetera. and then really integrate that information for yourself does it align with who i am as a divine being does it align with who i am does it align with my personal beliefs find your truth and if you need help unraveling your individual ball of wool, reach out to me and I will be a sounding board and a guide for you, but I will not tell you what to believe. And then be very mindful what you do with this information. Because as the blinders, so as the blinders open and open and open and you begin to really see the expansiveness and the multidimensional layers of everything that's happening in our reality, individually and as a collective, you're gonna wanna share it with someone. <laughs> and I just ask that you be careful and that you be gentle with who you share it with, how you deliver that information, and kind of know when you're crossing the line between, I'm just really looking to have a conversation with someone about this and my ego has decided this is my new truth and now I want everyone to believe the same. Be gentle with one another. 
respect other people's sovereignty, respect their free will, as I would stand for everyone else to do the same for you, and I will do for you also. So the other piece that I just wanted to talk about because it adds into this whole topic quite well, and I'm not producing that many videos right now, so this is good to add in, is begin to observe what paradigm, what reality, what narrative you are playing in as this will all become a more and more integral part of your expansion and awakening into the fifth dimension. So everything being a paradigm or a narrative or a story or a belief system that one lives within is always and for each and every person mm, available to be dismantled changed, shifted, pivoted. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll give you an example. There is a possibility that there will be a vaccine that will come out in the third dimension in response to this COVID-19 pandemic. My personal belief, and I'm not telling this to be yours, is that I will not be taking a vaccine. Now, if a vaccine is forced upon me, I also hold the paradigm, belief, narrative, story, whatever you want to call it, that the light that I hold within my body and the truth that I know myself to be as a sovereign being having a human experience, that I will not be put at any kind of physical, chemical, biological risk by having to take such a vaccine, if that is even something that happens. I have strong faith and truth in my light. I understand the world of energy, and I understand that there would just be a misalignment, that whatever the vaccine holds in it and whatever intention or agenda that is being played out in it needing to be so, that if it does come to light as a manifested reality, here in the third dimension, that my higher vibrational way of being, my belief systems, my consciousness, and the vibration I hold within my body will just not be a match. So that all sounds pretty impressive. Here's the other piece to my, my, my understanding and my um, delivery to you about paradigms, narratives, and stories, beliefs. I will not drink tap water. I will only drink natural spring water. I hold a belief system, a paradigm, which is also true that the fluoride in our water calcifies our pineal gland and interferes with one's individual ascension. Now, is it true? Yes, it's true. Does it need to be my truth? No, it does not, because again, as a sovereign being that is ascending into the fifth dimensional reality, I'm the one that gets to choose what effects things have on my body from an energetic perspective through my belief systems, paradigms, and narratives. So I am aware of the fact that on one hand, my belief system tells me that if I had to take a vaccine, that my light would neutralize it while I also hold a narrative paradigm belief that by drinking tap water somehow my ascension can be blocked or interfered with. I am aware of the fact that neither of these two paradigms actually sort of match or make sense and I understand that one requires a little more work. And my justification to the one around water is that knowing what I know, I also don't necessarily eat, drink, hydrate. I'm not fully on point with what I allow on my body, cosmetics, creams, foods, etc., etc. So knowing what I know, there's room that I could be doing a little bit better. 
but I also choose to indulge in my human experience as well. Because for me, at this time, in my sovereign reality, that's what balance looks like for me. So I compensate in my own story paradigm narrative that by drinking only natural spring water and drinking three to four liters a day, that I am doing my part to offset some of the human indulgences that I still play in. So I offer those two examples to you for you to begin in finding your own truth, what paradigms, belief stories, and narratives that you live in that could possibly be shifted, possibly are ready to be tossed out, tossed out. maybe the terms and conditions of the way that you operate with yourself and your own belief system, that contract's up for renewal and you want to sort of re-script some of it. I'm just encouraging you to have a look at it all. And then as you move forward, really begin to be aware and observe. You don't always have to do something with it, but be aware and observe what paradigm, narrative, story, belief system you are operating from. And expand, expand, expand. So I know I talked a lot in this video. I hope that it has helped you. Um, and encouraged you to begin to explore what your truth is in all of this and that when you discover it you will be very gentle and kind if and when you choose to deliver that information or share it with others. Um, I love you all. If you have questions or you need my help please get in touch. Um, leave your comments in underneath here explore my other videos. I have a Facebook group that I support. You're more than welcome to join. Um, take care. Stay in the light. I'm sending you all so much love and compassion for your journey. Bye for now.